couple of shapes, and I want you to start talking to each other about what they have in common, how we could sort them. Go ahead. Sort them by how many parallel edges they have. Okay. We could also sort them by how many right angles they have, or acute angles. What else? Sort them by <laughs> size. Yeah. What do you mean size? Like if one's really small and one is really big, then you can put the small ones and the big ones in different files. Can you get your hands in here and start doing that? And I, why don't you talk about what you see so that other people can There's can add? Versions of them. Yeah, there are. Like this one, they're like the same shape, but this one's bigger and that one's like fatter, but smaller-ish. So can we make some groups? Shay, what kind of, what do you have over here? Trapezoids. Oh, how do you know that they're trapezoids? Well, this is a square because they have one set of parallel lines and then the others will eventually cross. Great, and what's that math word that we use for cross? Intersect. Intersect, Intersect. great. So do you agree with Shay that these shapes have a name and yeah. that that name is? Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Great, so let me find in here my label that says trapezoid. All right, so we have one group of shapes. Are there others? Yeah, we made a rectangle group and we made uh, parallel. Yeah, a parallelogram group. We also made a square group. So I can tell that these shapes are different, but can you use words to tell me what makes them different? They are different sizes. So let's look at like this group and this group. They're different. What is different about them? Squares, can you jump in? Squares have all right angles, and parallelograms have two acute angles and two obtuse angles. Oh, so Sadie's giving me some names here. So what was that name that we called these shapes? Squares. Squares. And they're squares because they have? Four right angles. Mm -hmm. Four 90 degree angles. And all their sides are the same length. And all their sides are the same length. Wait a minute. What about this one? Who can tell me what makes these two quadrilaterals parallelograms? Shay, jump in. Um, all the sides are parallel because these could go like this and these could go like that. So if we're talking about pairs of parallel lines, who can tell me a little bit more about parallelograms? Um, well, these two are pairs and these two are pairs, but with this, this wouldn't be a parallelogram because it only has one pair, but these has two pairs of um, parallel sides. Okay, so I see now. So we have two pairs of parallel lines. That's what makes it a parallelogram. And can we attach a name to this shape? Somebody. A rectangle. A rectangle. And what are the attributes of a rectangle? Um, two sides are one length and the other two sides are like a smaller length. So it's like a longer shape, but it's not as like tall up and down, but it goes farther that way. And it's made up of um, four right angles. Great. Anybody else have anything to add? Because I, I see some parallel lines. Does anyone notice some parallel lines? Sadie, jump in. It has two sets of parallel lines. Oh my goodness. So do rectangles and parallelograms have something in common? Yeah. What do you think, Shay? They're both parallelograms. Oh. Huh. That's really interesting that a rectangle can be both a rectangle and a parallelogram. Do you agree? Yes, yeah. but I have a question. Yeah. If a rectangle can be a parallelogram, why can't a square? Or can mm. it? Can I move these groups here? What do you think? What makes a parallelogram a parallelogram? Jump in. It two has, sets of parallel yeah. lines. So do squares have two pairs of parallel lines? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can squares yeah. also be parallelograms? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Josie. Rectangles are kind of like stretched out squares. Yeah, and I think that's what Elise was talking about. It's almost like 
you stretch one of the sides, right? And if you, had, if you were to smush it together, it would make a? Square. 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 All right, questions? Elise? The trapezoid is like in its own group, but like these are related. I'm wondering if the trapezoid is somehow related. Hmm, well, what is the attribute that makes a trapezoid a trapezoid? Jump in. There's two lines that would intersect and then there's one pair of parallel lines. Yeah, and so what's different about a trapezoid and any parallelogram? What's different? It only has one pair of parallel lines, but parallelograms have two sets of parallel lines. Yeah, so I agree with you, Elise, that these three shapes are related, these three quadrilaterals are related, and that the trapezoid doesn't quite fit in with that group because it only has the one pair.